Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to some chemistry. Before we start, I just would like to thank my uh, three to five viewers. Um, I really appreciate it. This to me is fun, but I really appreciate it. Okay, so we are going to try to answer this question. Okay, we have our chemical equation here to make carbon disulfide. So carbon plus sulfur dioxide makes carbon disulfide and carbon monoxide, which by the way, poisonous gas. And the question is, for part one, what is the percent yield of carbon disulfide if we only have, we start with 44.2 grams of carbon and the actual yield of carbon disulfide is, oops, 36 grams. Then for part two, what is the percent yield of carbon disulfide again? We start with 32.7 grams of sulfur, and the actual yield is 11.7 grams. Okay. I have the equation here um, uh, to have as a reference. We have the starting material for the first part and the actual yield. So what we do now is we determine the moles of carbon. We have the mass, 44.2 grams of carbon, we divide that by the molar mass, okay, 12.1 grams, and we see this cancel out. And then we determine the moles of carbon disulfide. And we know that there's a one to five ratio in terms of moles between carbon disulfide and carbon. We see this out, and we're left with these amount of moles. And I like to keep a few significant a few figures. Uh, in case we then determine the grams of carbon disulfide okay, we have the moles we multiply that by the molar mass okay we see that again the units cancel out and we find the theoretical yield of carbon disulfide and this is important because we have the actual yield we have the theoretical yield and we know that actual over theoretical times 100 gives us okay so in part one Percent yield is 64.3%, okay? Second, the second part is we have the starting material for sulfur dioxide, and we have the actual yield for carbon bisulfide. Similar to before, we determine the moles of sulfur dioxide. We determine the mole to mole ratio between carbon bisulfide and sulfur, and sulfur dioxide. So it's a one to two. You have the moles of carbon. Again, I like to keep a few, a few figures. Next, we find the grams of carbon disulfide by multiplying, as previously done, uh, by the molar mass of carbon disulfide, and we get this mass, okay? Same as before, actual over theoretical times 100 gives us the percent yield. One thing that I want to highlight is this. This reaction has um, has a limiting reactant, okay? And the limiting reactant is sulfur dioxide. Why? Because this amount of starting material of sulfur dioxide gives us the least amount of theoretical yield of carbon disulfide or also the least amount of... Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your evening.